Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to show you how to use Linux Mint to take an ISO and make a live USB thumb drive. And I'm going to show you how to do it three different ways in Linux Mint. One way in the terminal and two different ways in the GUI. So let's get to it. Let's open up our uh, Nemo and let's go to the downloads folder. There it is there. Let's click it on and there's the ISO. So we're going to take a thumb drive and I'm going to plug it into the computer. I already have an Arch ISO on this thumb drive, but I'm going to redo it. So you have to remember that uh, when you do this, whatever is on the thumb drive is going to be erased. You could do it this way. Open up uh, your menu, go to the search field and type in USB. So Linux Mint comes with two programs. One is a USB stick formatter and the other one is a USB image writer. So we're going to click this on. And this little box comes up. And we know the image is in our downloads folder, right? So I'm going to click it on. I'm going to go to downloads. There it is there. I'm going to make sure it's clicked on. And I'm going to, oh, my face is in the way. So I'm going to make sure it's clicked on and I'm going to click on open. Okay, so it has the image in there. There it is there. It's my SanDisk Ultra. It's a 16 gigabyte. And now I'm going to write it. And I click on write. And it's asking me for uh, my password. So I'm going to put my password in. And there it goes. It's copying Arch Linux onto the USB thumb drive. And it's going to be bootable. So I can stick that thumb drive into another computer and install Arch Linux on it. And you can do this with any, uh, it doesn't have to be Arch Linux. It could be any Linux distribution, MX Linux, Antex Linux, Manjaro, Peppermint, any Linux distribution. And as you can see, I'm not pausing the video. It's not even taking a minute now. The reason why I'm doing it with Arch is because I said it's a light Arch Linux is only a gigabyte. If you're doing it with a, a Linux distribution where the I, oh, it's done. And the image was written successfully. And that's it. I have a bootable thumb drive with Arch Linux on it. Now, if you're doing it with a, uh, well, let me show you the second method. Now, the second method is just as easy. And what we're going to do is open up uh, Nemo, our file manager. And I'm going to go to our downloads. And there's the image there. And so, okay, so I'm going to right click it. I'm going to open with disk image writer. So I'm going to open that. And you can see there it is there the image i'm going to click here now you got to be careful here because you want to make sure you don't go on to your hard drive so this is a virtual machine and it's a 43 gig hard drive so you don't want to go there you want to go down here to your 16 gigabyte drive right 16 gigabyte sand disk click it on and then i'm going to click on start restoring it's going to give you a warning so you want to make sure you're on the right drive. I'm going to click on restore again. Now it's going to ask for my password. I put my password in. I'm going to hit enter. And there we go. And look how fast it's going. Now this, this particular time, it's using GNOME disks. And this GNOME disk is automatically installed in Linux Mint. So if you have Linux Mint running, you don't have to install it. And if you install Arch Linux and you use my configuration files, you're going to have GNOME disk in there as well. And that's it. Look at that. It's done. So that's the second way. Isn't that easy? And this is the way that I, I use this method a lot because I have GNOME disk installed in my Arch Linux system. And like I said, if you 
install Arch Linux and use my configuration files for the post installation, you're going to have GNOME disks installed in your Arch Linux system. But GNOME disks comes automatically installed in Linux Mint. So that's the method I use. So that's two easy methods to make a, a live bootable USB thumb drive with a Linux ISO on it. Now the third way I'm going to show you is in a terminal. So I'm going to open up a terminal. I'm going to make it full screen. And I'm just going to do uh, LSBLK. So <laughs> because this is a uh, virtual machine, my thumb drive is SDA. Because my virtual machine, it's VDA, it's a 40 gig hard drive. And my thumb drive is SDA. So if you're doing this in bare metal, it's probably going to be reverse. It's probably going to be the other way around. In bare metal, your computer drive will most likely be SDA. Not necessarily, especially if you have more drives. But if you only have one drive in your bare metal computer, it's probably going to be SDA will be your computer. And the thumb drive will probably be SDB. But like I said, if you're going to do it in the terminal, you should do an LSBLK to make sure you know which drive is your thumb drive. So in my particular case, because this is the virtual machine, like I already mentioned, this is my virtual machine hard drive. And this is my thumb drive here. It's a 14 gig thumb drive. Okay. So what I'm going to do is CD into my downloads folder. Okay. Now I'm going to LS it. And you can see there's the image right there. So now I'm going to type in, oh, it'd be, and next thing I, you have to do is switch into root. So I'm going to switch into root. I'm going to put my root password in. Now I'm in root. And let's just clear the screen. And you know what? I'm just going to move my face down a little bit. Just make sure I'm not in the way. So I'm just going to ls it again. And what I'm going to do is type in this commands. I'm going to type in cat arch. I'm going to leave a space. I'm going to put um, an arrow in there. Dev SDA. Now, of course, like I said, if you're doing this in bare metal, it's probably going to be SDB or SDC or maybe even SDD. But because my virtual machine, this is a virtual machine, it's my hard drive is VDA. It, the thumb drive is SDA, and that's why you're going to do an LSBLK. And when you're doing this, you have to be very careful because you don't want to destroy your hard drive. So let's hit enter and see what happens. Now it looks like it's not doing anything because it's just flashing, but it's actually making a brand new version of uh, my thumb drive, making it bootable with Arch Linux on it. And that's it. Look at that. It only took about 30 seconds. And I think this was faster than the GUI. I think this method is faster than the two GUI methods I used. But they're easier to use, especially for a new user or for somebody who is advanced and they just can't be bothered going into the terminal. So now what I'm going to do is uh, let's open up my, let's open up Nemo, my file manager. And you can see Arch Linux is on there. In this video, I showed you how to use Linux Mint to make a bootable thumb drive with an ISO on it. And I showed you three methods in Linux Mint. Two methods in the GUI and one method in the terminal. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.